Hey, all you flicking fanatics, welcome back to another trailer reaction. It's your boy Sean Wingblade, and we are doing The Glass Onion. They dropped teaser number two today when they dropped the announcement of uh, selling tickets for their limited theatrical run. Uh, I believe it comes out December 23rd on Netflix, but it's going to be one month prior for limited run in theaters on November 23rd. And they dropped ticket sales today, which I'm definitely going to sign up for. And I was going to, I was looking over like some of the news on Twitter. And I realized I never watched the first teaser, much less the second one. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. But I think the news came out when I was at work or something one day. And I saw, like, the photos of the cast and this and that. And I saw little bits and pieces here and there. But I never actually sat down and watched the full teaser. So we're going to do double duty today. Before we hop into it, uh, check out the cast. I mean, Daniel Craig's obviously returning. Edward Norton, Kate Hudson, Dave Bautista, Ethan Hawke, Jessica Henwick, who... I think most of us love. She was great in The Matrix. Probably the best thing in that movie, to be honest. Catherine Hahn. I'm not familiar with Madeline Klein as Whiskey. Uh, I don't know the actress. Uh, Janelle Monae, fantastic singer and actress. Leslie Odom Jr. is great. And Yuri Togsis. Togsis. Tog. Tog Togsis. I'm not even familiar with this guy. I uh, can't pronounce his name either. So let's hop into the teaser and see what we like. All right, let's start the official teaser in three, two, and one. Boom. Familiar music. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Ooh, we got secret rooms and stuff. All right, let's go. Secret tables, I guess, not rooms. Secret games. Get your hand off of that. You expected a puzzle. It is a puzzle. For long so we put the pieces together. This is not a game. Some sort of game. Will you explain it to us then, detective? He would love to. That's that's all he's there for. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Just keeps a gun in his bikini briefs. Stay in your rooms. Uh oh. Is in danger. Uh oh. What's the crime? Who died? When's the murder mystery start? Looks fun. All right. I really like the first one. Coming soon. Ba boom. Netflix. I dug it. I really do. I really like the first movie. It was a good date night movie too, like with the wife. It was good murder mystery. Kind of gives you the sense of like, you know, a who done it and you know, clue and like this, that, the other, whatever uh, other movies you've seen. Like it wasn't like breaking the mold, but it was done so well. The acting, the intrigue, and kind of like you know how they they tied a bone on it and wrapped it all together. Let's hop into teaser number two. See what it's all about. Boom. We got a great weekend. It's time to voice over from So does Norton bring it in together. Because tonight, my murder will be committed. This is true. Oh, so maybe Norton's the one who dies then. Well now. Hashtag birthday. Batista's hilarious. Just the opportunity laid out in front of you. Give Batista some comedy and just let him run. He's great. A Google alert for the word movie. I like movies. Don't hate. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Batista's fantastic. He he does so much with like all the comedy and Guardians and other things. He does, he does. I think that's like his his way to shine and kind of get out of the action star role, and not get pigeonholed too. Um, so I think that's fantastic. I'm on board. I'm definitely going to see this in theaters. I know Netflix. You know they won that. I don't know if it was a bidding war or whatever. Um, they definitely won the rights to Ryan Johnson and his films and whatever else he's going to put forward. Uh, or maybe it's was it just. Was it just the Knives Out universe? Because I think he's he's set up for a couple of sequels, so we at least know, uh, you know, uh, Inspector Benoit Blanc is uh, safe from getting murdered. Seems like Edward Norton. I bet he's gonna put on like a fake murder and then eventually actually die on purpose or uh, on accident rather. But I'm on board. I'm down to see it, and this definitely is worth a theater uh, trip uh, for a fun night at the movies. You know, it's not like some big, huge spectacle action movie with huge graphics. 
but it'll be a good time and I think well worth the money. Uh, if you like this, please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, do all the YouTube things. It helps us, helps us in the algorithm, helps us grow our channel. We're close to 800 subscribers actually, and we might be there by the time you see this. Who knows when you're watching this today, tomorrow, the next day, whatever. We'll see you next time.